V. Got a client who needs help with some internal corpo skullduggery. Our boy wants dirt on his arch nemesis. One Matthias stole. What do you say? You got your shovel ready? Freeze the match. Stove's finished, even if he don't know it yet. Big thanks. Contract's closed and the eddies are flying at you. Some people. What can I get for you? Something hot. Cold. Coffee. Liquor. Got time for a quick one. Tian shall do the trick. Everyone listen up. This is a fucking robbery. Mr. Slick, behind the counter? Yeah, you. Shut the fuck up. Put your hands up where I can see them. Rest Somebody you. likes being the center of attention. What part of keeping your fucking mouth shut did you not understand? How about you go first? Hand over your wallet. Nice and easy. 
can't believe you've made it this far. You and your shit again? People who don't judge their competition don't last too long on the streets. I've met people like you before. They're all dead now. Know why? Because none of them could get the spec on me. Nice try. You're bluffing. Trying to trip me up. I've danced with Maelstrom and Arasaka. You think you could so much as scratch me? You'll die before you can pull that trigger. I guarantee you. Fuck it. Let's bail. For years, nobody touches this place, and now this? Where's 6th Street when you need them? Thank God you were here. Order whatever you want. It's on the house. It is good to see you, V. Seems pretty, uh, secluded here. It is appropriate for such a secret meeting. Friend you mentioned here? Oda? He should be here any moment now. Willing finally to give me the spec on him? He's Hanako-sama's bodyguard. Hanako Arasaka's? From the carrier at Anchor in the Bay? Saburo's daughter? Yes, and if he believes you. We'll next meet with her. And what's to stop her little errand boy from selling us out? He will not do that. He's a man of honor. <laughs> right, because Arasaka's ranks are chock full of those. Do not confuse true honor with the petty morals by which you live. By God, huh? A good sign. He is usually camouflaged. Takemura-san. Oda. Is this her? Your thief. She's my witness, V. Can speak for myself, you know. So speak. I have been told you know things. Not gonna like what I'm about to say. I need a guarantee I'm safe here. You are, you have it. V, you can trust Oda. All right then. Kompeki Plaza. I was there the night it happened. Looked like your typical family quarrel until 
Yorinobu lunged at Saburo and started Silence! Choking. Not one word more. You will bring death to your door. But it is the truth. Hanako-sama must hear it. My one concern is to keep her safe in this city forgotten by the gods. Is she in danger? Now? No. Yet during the parade to honor Arasaka-sama, most certainly. I bring you this witness to his murder. And you dare to worry about the silly parade? Fool! Correct. But you can't ignore the truth! Correct. Unlike you, I have not yet failed to keep my oath to do my duty. You will regret those words. The only thing I regret is that I came here to meet you. There is a price on your head. Sorry, I but this gonna take much longer. I do you a favor now by not cutting it off and taking it straight to Yorinobu Sama. What would you do now? Were you in my place? I do no favors. I would deliver Oda. you a. What? We're talking about a guy who killed his father to seize control of Arasaka. Gonna take an interest in this or not? I will not. But I will let you leave this place, this city, unharmed. If I see either of you again, I will not be so lenient. Be very careful, my friend. We are all so far from home. Good fucking riddance. One hour soccer whack job is already plenty. No way this was gonna work. Hmm, yet. We walk away with a small measure of success. Hmm, how do you figure that? What Oda said. They returned to Tokyo after the parade. Do you not see the parade? It is our chance, perhaps, if somehow we can get to Hanako-sama. We must do a proper reconnaissance first. We'll need a precise map of Japan Town. Hold on. It is your turn to call on friends. Do you know a fixer who could help? No, just the fixer, Dame. Wakako Okada. Runs a pachinko parlor on Jig Jig Street. We must pay this woman a visit. Will you join me? Sure, why not? G.G. Street. What is this name? <laughs> Just a night city name. Beware, you mock me too often. You all right, Goro? Yes. Why the sudden concern? Have shared interests, you and I. Or have you forgotten? Certainly not. Good, because catching lead in night city is easier than catching a cold. And I need you alive. I am alive and well. As you can see, you should worry about yourself. Any idea what's going on at Arasaka? Only what I can surmise from what I see on TV. Yorinob and his puppets grin at the cameras and insist that everything is under control. But the wider the smile, the bigger the lies. Bro, 
rogue, my sweet. This has got to be a misunderstanding. I've no idea who jumped your team, but the claws? No, never. My boys know their place. I, I, I'm sorry, got to go. I have guests. Well, well, who do I spy but V? In my humble parlor, no less. Okako, long time no see. So what brings you here? And your charming friend is? Happen to be working together, that's all. Takemura Goro desu. Okada-san, oai dekite kohei desu. Ah, a true gentleman. Ah, oh, shame only that he's being hunted by all Arasaka's tin soldiers. And you, V, bring him to my door. Give me one reason why I shouldn't notify the proper authorities right away. Would have already made the call if you intended to. Simple. You're curious to see what we got. So tell me, and mark well I still have my phone at hand. Need intel on the parade that's scheduled to come through Japantown. So it's Arasaka. Again. What I fail to understand is... Why come to me? Did Mr. Deshawn not come to the phone? Goro, remind me why Dex's fat, backstabbing ass is currently indisposed. He is deceased. Butchered and dumped at a landfill by some Arasaka goon. Real shame, that. That a threat I detect? No threat, no. Asked why I couldn't reach Dex. I answered. Just facts, nothing more. Good, cause you would then have to join him. Okada-san, our intentions are honorable. We need just information. It is a matter of life and death. Everything's on the shards. How much does this cost? My pockets are empty. Clearly. My gift to you, it's free. Okada-san, what is free often proves most costly. Gonna take them or not? Japan Town. Whole district is to be sealed off for the parade. Dashi Platforms, the main attraction. They'll fly this way, high above street level. Along the parade route, balconies, footbridges, and vantage points affording good views. Hanako Arasaka, a guest of honor, will deliver her speech from the largest float. She'll do this exactly here. Got no idea about security, but given recent events, expect it to be tight. Our last parade? Arasaka undercovers infiltrated the crowd. Not to mention a smattering of sharpshooters, drones. And if that's not enough fun for one day, a net runner, one at least. They use the city CCTV to observe everything. Main access point, here. It's an old automated control center. If you ask me, most useful by far. At the end, the floats will float out of Japantown, and we'll be left with trash up to our elbows that no one will collect. That's it. It's all I have. It must be enough. Then go. Be on your way. Thanks, Wakako. We appreciate this, Okada-san. Have some outstanding biz to settle. Remember Sandra Dorset? I don't forget such things, V. Here is your reward. It comes with a... Fairly ample bonus. They'll weave you a dermo in front of them. We are not done. A delightful, mature woman. This information, it could be just what we need. But I will try to investigate further. I will stay here some time and call some associates. 
The moment I learn something new, I will let you know. Stay safe, Coral. You as well. Until next time. Listen to that guy. How'd you rate his chops? To my untrained ear, sounds all right, I guess. Easy listening, at least. No, why? Technique's second rate. But the feeling? That's what counts. Guy's hurting, got something he can't take, and it shows. Could stand a little more stage presence. Fingering's all wrong, loses the tempo more than he keeps it, but not bad. Really know how to give a guy a compliment. Bet how you got your start? Street busker with big dreams. Don't make me laugh. No time for playing my way to the top. Was too busy shaking the world awake. <laughs> Ooh, isn't that what every failed artist says about their work? Know what? You're right. I failed. Corpo tyrants still run this town, just like 50 years ago. But if you think in my heart of hearts I want to be the next teen idol, think again. Don't give half a fuck about that commercial shit. All right, princess. At least you played some gigs. Saw those memories of yours. True. Played where we could. Parks, old factories, underground clubs. Had an audience from the start. Some recorded our stuff didn't even know who we were. Ooh, you mean to say I could get my hands on some old samurai bootlegs? I'm gonna find those tapes. I'm gonna shriek like a little fangirl anytime you open your mouth. Happy? Just you fucking try. Jokes aside, you think those tapes still exist after all these years? Hmm, you know, Rainbow Cadence is not far from here. Club we played till the band fell apart. Great spot. Place for people with their heads on straight. Maybe they'll know something. Uh, man, um, Johnny? Pretty sure they turned your great spot into a slurp shop. Mindless fucking consumerism wins the day again. Point for the other team. Huh. huh. This is why you don't bring back fallen warriors. Sooner or later, they're gonna see everything they fought for is turned to shit. Know anything about bootlegs from the Rainbow Cadenza days? Like, say, don't know, samurai stuff? Samurai. Samurai. Oh, that ugly red face on black? Yeah, even I know that one. Old guy comes by here sometimes wearing their shirt. Spends the whole time yakking with his psycho fan friends. Wouldn't happen to know where I could find him? You can find him living back in the 2020s. <laughs> but besides that, he's out there at the market. What's he selling? Canic strawberries and cream. What do you think? He sells ancient dusty tapes of ancient dusty indie bands. No one's heard of a single one of them. Cream. Thanks. Hey. Glad you could clear your schedule. Heard I can get some decent tunes here. What you mean by decent? We got Cartesian Duelist, Urdine Stuff, Tainted Overlord. Any samurai? <laughs> Kid, you even gotta ask? Never fade away. Dancing with my axe, chipping in. You name it, we got it. Silverhand was the one true messiah of rock. I'd hand them records out like candy if I could. But a guy's gotta eat. Yeah, looking for the real deal. Like, say, bootlegs from Samurai's first gigs? Fuck. First, you have got no idea what you're asking for. Not if you're so, so chilled about it. 
Don't know how you found out about them bootlegs, but forget it. Not gonna give them to the first gonk off the street. <sighs> I used to come here back when it was still Rainbow Cadenza. Bootleg sure would make a nice souvenir of the good old days. Cut the scob. You're too young to remember the first samurai gigs. Weren't even a twinkle near your daddy's Kuroshis. Hey, appearances can be deceiving. How do you know this pretty face ain't an implant? All right, punk. Prove it. How'd Samurai's third ever gig end? Hey, Johnny. Get your digital ass out here. Feed me my lines. How about this? Fuck you, V. Ain't your stupid sidekick. Well, can't wait all day. Johnny, please. Can you stop making my life harder? My life that's quickly running out? How am I supposed to give a witty response to that pathetic question? It's like kicking a puppy. A blind puppy. You always freeze up like this? Played our third gig at Cadenza. Little fire broke out. Some drunk gonks tried to put it out with beer. Denny's fro got singed. Wore a wig for a few weeks. Never did get herself any tech hair. Hang on. Now I remember. Uh, there was, uh, fire. <sighs> Poor Denny. Poor Denny's hair. <laughs> I almost forgot. Her Johnny started it, actually. Tossed a cig that was still glowing. Huh. <laughs> Bullshit. That sig was Carrie's, no doubt. But hey, any trouble's Johnny's fault. Still don't believe you were there. But what the hell? Only a real fan could know something like that. Hey, anyways. Gotta educate the youth. Maybe you'll find something special under the table. Gone. Have at it. Much appreciated. Take it. Spread the good silver hand word. Death to Corpos. Glad you could clear your schedule. You know, they say time is the best teacher. Used to think that was true. But look at that guy. 60 at least, but still living in 2020. Guy's your biggest fan. Not happy to meet him? Busaka Tower to smithereens, and it's still standing there, just the same. Don't want people getting stuck in a rut, stuck in the past. Want them to change, them and the world. You want to force them to change? Can't just blow them up like the tower. But music's the answer? Here's what happens. Grandpa knows every damn word doesn't understand a single one. You'd rather massacre a bunch of people then? And the average Janes or Joes? Maybe they don't want to change. Their choice. You want to take that away from them? They might be bums who play see no evil. Might be blind idiots. They need to wake the fuck up. Guess jury's still out on the how. <laughs> 